The North is always the most difficult to conquer and keep. In the thrilling finale of season 4 of the, the Last Kingdom, we see the exhausting siege of Winchester, the capital of the Wessex Kingdom. It is the same capital that King Edward, Timothy Innes, spent nearly the entire season fortifying, only to have it fall into the hands of Danish warlord Sigtrieger, Eisten Sigurison. Sigtrieger is Canute's cousin, who frees Breda, Emily Cox, from Welsh captivity, and agrees to her plan to sack Winchester. In an all-or-nothing attack, using smoke from bags of shit and limestone to make the Danish soldiers gag and leave them incapable of defending the fortress, the combined armies of Mercia and Wessex manage to breach the walls. As they break through the main gate, it becomes an all-out bloody battle. It takes Uhtred's intervention to finally get both armies to stand down and get Edward to listen to what Sigtrieger is proposing, the northern kingdom with its capital in Efrich in exchange for peace in the other three kingdoms. After Edward and Ethelflaed finish negotiating, another demand is added. That Stiora will also go to Efrich with him. To avoid any more bloodshed, Edward and Ethelflaed agree, which means there will be a few years of relative peace. As Finnan, one of Uhtred's men, puts it, not bad, you hold three of four kingdoms. Ethelflaed holds Mercia, Edward holds Wessex and its capital Winchester with East Anglia patrolled by both these allied kingdoms. Peace with the Danes also means that he can pay attention to his heirs, while he takes responsibility for his son from the second marriage, he gives the responsibility of raising his firstborn to Uhtred after Lady Aylswith dies of poisoning. By temporarily ceding the northern lands, Edward buys some time and breathing space after his army has nearly been exhausted in the 30-day siege of Winchester.